Hi, so I wanted to show you my 8th grade math interactive notebook. When you purchase my interactive notebook, you will actually have a pop-up that looks like this. It is a zip file, and it will say 8th grade notebook updated. When you click it, there will be two PDF files. The first one is the answer keys, and the second one is the actual notebook. I have already opened those down here, so you'll see there's the notebook. It includes um, the, number si uh, the number system, expressions and equations, functions, geometry, probability, and statistics. There's also some stuff in the very beginning that will help students set up their notebook. Uh, for example, this is a cover page. and. Also, they will get um, All About Me. They can fill that out uh, maybe the first day of school. Um, also, their math notebook, their expectations, and the reasons for that. Students will sign their name and date it. There is a grading rubric. Uh, what's nice about this grading rubric is there it's set up by quarters. So there's first quarter, second, third, and fourth. And it breaks down how students are going to be graded. There's an organization um, and appearance, and then there's also completeness. And you can write in teacher comments um, after you collect uh, their notebook so that they can see, get some feedback and see um, how they were graded and, and if they did good or not. Um, also, I have included a blank template so that you can change the grading scale if you do not like my grading scale. There's a math reference sheet, table of contents, and it's continued. Goals. Um, this is really nice because students can set goals for first quarter, second, third, and fourth. So you can print this multiple times uh, throughout the year to have them write down their goals. Um, here's a look back to see did they accomplish those goals, uh, did they not accomplish them, or is it still in progress? Uh, this is for Cornell Notes. Reflection. I use this reflection quite a bit. Um, I use it anytime I have direct instruction and I go over anything in the interactive notebook and I want them to reflect upon what they learned. I will actually uh, print this and have students glue it into their left side and they will write what they learned, give an example, and draw a visual. Um, you will also see some overviews in uh, the notebook. So for example, I started with number sense and it talks about the standards, some essential questions, the key vocabulary. There's some test dates where they uh, they can write in if they have a practice test, the pretest, you can write in the date, the day of the post test and the vocabulary quiz and then test scores, they can write what score they got on those tests. If you don't use um, a practice test, um, then you don't. You can just have them leave it blank. Um, I do have a, um, you'll see I have tests available for you to purchase if you would like that include a practice test, a post test, a vocabulary quiz, um, so those are really nice. Um, you'll see I'll start into the number system. So students will be uh, looking at the real number system. Um, and then it goes on with the standards. Students will need scissors, glue, colored pencils, markers. Um, it matters if you want them to make it really colorful. So I'm going to go through pretty quickly so you can see the different things that they have. At the very end of each standard, um, there will be a matching activity where there are cell phone templates and students will be cutting out the covers right here and pasting them, gluing them um, to the definition. And then it goes on to expressions and equations unit and again they have this overview. There's some foldables. Okay, and we're almost down to the bottom. Got quite a bit for expressions and equations. 
So there's a lot going on in there. Okay, and so here is the uh, matching activity for the very end. And then the next one is functions. Going through functions. There's some sequences. Okay, and here's the functions matching. Um, we're into geometry. And there's the cell phone templates again. And then our last one is statistics and probability. And the cell phone templates. And at the end of the file, you'll see um, where students can write um, how their school year went, kind of a reflection of the school year. And then I have some blank templates. You can use these for anything that you feel that I have missed. Um, some, so there's some different foldables. Okay, um, and the, the, the test that I was talking about, here's some different um, tests that I have. Each of these have pre-tests, post-tests, and vocabulary quizzes. Um, but I want to go back and show you now the answer keys so you can see how the answer key is set up. So in the very beginning, it just talks a little bit about how students will fill that out. And then you'll see here's the actual answer keys. There are some pictures that show how to set up the foldables. I'm just going to zoom through quickly so you can see to the end of it all those pictures. I think you pretty much got the idea. Um, so um, I'm going to include a link at the bottom to where you can go and purchase uh, my interactive notebook. Um, and if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching my video.